In this chapter, we are going to see whole numbers. Before seeing whole numbers, we will see first what is a natural number. When you start to count something, say for example on the road, if you are going to count the number of cars or number of autos, how will you count? You will start counting by saying 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. So this is a counting which you do naturally. So these are the natural numbers. It starts from 1. Next we are going to see predecessor and successor. A number before another number is called its predecessor. For example, the number before 17 is 16. Therefore, 16 is the predecessor of 17. Likewise, a successor is a number after another number or the next number. So, for example, the next number of 16 is 17. And if you add 1 to that number, that is 16, you get its successor, that is 17. That is 16 plus 1 is 17. Therefore, 17 is the successor of 16. Does 1 have a predecessor? Put that in the comments. And for homework, write the predecessor of 15,693 and also write the successor of 28,95,174. So earlier we saw natural numbers, now we will see whole numbers. In natural numbers, 1 was the first number. That is, we start to count from 1 in natural numbers. Therefore, 1 doesn't have any predecessor. But if you add a 0 before that 1, that is, as a predecessor of 1, a 0, then that is what we say whole numbers. Therefore, natural numbers counted along with 0 as the first number are called whole numbers. So when you count a natural number, you'll count from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Question, are all natural numbers whole numbers? And are all whole numbers natural numbers? And for homework, write the smallest whole number and the smallest natural number. Next, we are going to see number line. First, we will see how we will be drawing a number line. So, first draw a line using a scale. Then, in the left hand side corner, mark a point and label it 0. Next, to the right of 0, mark another point and label it 1. So, this distance between 0 and 1 is what we call unit distance. It can be any distance. It can be say, if you are drawing using a scale, it can be 0.5, 1 centimeter and more. But it's safer to have 1 centimeter for easy measurements and easy markings. So, this unit distance must be similar or same to all the numbers you are going to mark after. So, next, after 1, that is to the right of 1, mark the same unit distance. For example, if you are going to mark the distance between 0 and 1 as 1 cm, use the same distance of 1 cm and mark from 1 to 2, 1 cm, then from 2, another 1 cm, a point and label it 3 and likewise 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is the number line. So here, the distance between 2 and 4 will be from 2 to 3, that is 1 unit, and from 3 to 4, that is another 1 unit, totally 2 units. So we say the distance between 2 and 4 as 2 units. Next, another thing you can observe in this number line is 7 is coming to the right of 4. So any number that is to the right of another number is always the greater number. So here 7 is greater than 4. And similarly, you can see that 2 is to the left of 4. So any number which is to the left of another number in the number line is the smaller number. So here 2 is smaller than 4. For homework, mark 12, 15, 25, 41 on the number line and also tell which one is on the right in the number line, 1005 or 9576. Next, we'll see how we can do addition in the number line. So draw the number line from 0 to 7 you mark on it and first we'll see how to add 4 to 3. So from 3, you have to make 4 jumps to the right in the number line. So it will be 4, 5, 6, 7. You land on 7, that's the answer for 4 plus 3. For homework you do 4 plus 5. Next, we'll see how we'll do subtraction on the number line. So for example, if we have to do 7 minus 5, you have to make 5 jumps to the left of 7. So it will be 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. So 2 will be the answer. So for homework, do 9 minus 6. Next, we'll see how to do multiplication on a number line. So draw a number line and in this number line mark until 12 because we need more numbers to do multiplication. So you can mark from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So here for example we'll do 4 times 3. So you have to jump 3 units 4 times. 
So we'll start from 0. So it will be from 0, 1, 2, 3 and 2 times 3 will be from 3, 4, 5, 6, 3 times will be, you have to jump to the right, 7, 8, 9 and 4 times 3 will be, you have to jump from 9 for the 4th time, 10, 11, 12. So 12 will be the answer for 4 times 3. So for homework, do 2 times 6. We will see the remaining of this chapter in the next video. Continue to register your comments. Thanks for watching and supporting my channel.